democracy will only take root if people also are able to see the potential for economic growth and development. You know the statistics on the levels of unemployment, particularly again amongst young people, and the need to try and develop the economy to support especially the young who want to get themselves into jobs and have a future and a potential. Alongside that, the building of the infrastructure that needs to take place to enable all of that to flourish efficiently. And I would link that back to also the building of the rule of law and, and justice and so on. That inward investment is only going to come when business feels that they're actually able to flourish in an atmosphere where the rule of law is going to work for them too. So a huge amount of work to be done in getting the economy to grow. I think in Egypt, tourism is running at 35%. It really is the time to go and see the pyramids. Uh, it really is the time to support countries who uh, need to see that tourism come back and who've got the potential to try and deal with the debt that's building up and who really want to get their economies moving. A particular aspect of that for me is about small businesses, the backbone of all economy. 3% of small businesses within the European Union, the 27 countries, trade outside the European Union. It's a very small figure. And if you could double that, you could do a lot for the European economy. Imagine, too, what we could do if we can support small and medium-sized businesses in the countries in our neighbourhood to be able to grow and develop their potential, too, as well as building, as I said, against the backbone of some of the economic uh, needs. Jordan, 52% of the water is lost in the pipelines that bring it to where it needs to go. They have massive infrastructure needs. Cairo, the metro needs to be extended. Tunisia, the road network needs to be built. And there is an ambition in Egypt to have a massive housing programme that will build social housing right across the country, around which, many of you will be aware of this, you can plan whole communities and sustainable development for people able to work and live together in those communities, including training, education, jobs that will help those communities be sustainable into the long term. So a huge amount to be done.